Hey, look at us. Hiya pals, Siskateer Mary here and welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to take you on a tour of my town's hay bale decorating contest. Um, it's called Hey Look At Us. And this is the 14th annual Hey Look At Us decorating contest. And I'm just gonna drive around town and show you all the fun hay bales that the businesses and the neighborhoods have put together. Um, it's like a competition. So they're split into neighborhood competition and business competition. At the end, I'm gonna show you the winners from each competition, from each category. And you can let me know in the comments down below which one it is that you like the best. We're gonna start right here, which like I said, is my neighborhood. As you can already see, it's Ninja Turtles, but let's go take a look at it. So we're gonna start right here at the front of my neighborhood because we're kind of on the edge of town. Yes, there's gonna be cars going by because we're by the road. So the name of the project, like I said, is called Hey, Look at Us. And basically, um, we just decorate hay bales. Like, this is so cute. This is what my neighborhood did, and it's the Ninja Turtles. They're coming out of the sewer. See the top and the garbage, you know. They did all four heads. They did pizza um, slices. We're getting a mellow mushroom, so it's about mellow mushroom. We know the turtles love pizza. So this is super cute, right? Love it. So this is our local bank's pump, uh, pumpkin. It's their hay bale, but they did it like a jack-o'-lantern. How cute is this guy? And then right across the street is, I'm not really sure what businesses those are, but we're gonna go over there and look at them. So that is um, pediatric dentistry. <laughs> it's really cute, like an aquarium. So that really makes me think of Finding Nemo, how the dentist has his aquarium in his uh, office. I don't know what this is. It fell down, I'm not gonna touch it and pick it up, but these are super cute. This is not the first football helmet that I've seen, but this is the best football helmet that I've seen. It's a Patriot, which is the mascot for our high school. And this is at our gas company. One thing of note for this hay bale contest is our mayor did say they um, passed out 60 hay bales. So you kind of enter, they put it out on Facebook and you decide if you as a business or a neighborhood want to enter and you have till a certain time to get entered and then the city brings the hay bales around to you. You have a certain time to get it decorated and then they do the judging. We did have 60 hay bales this year. I will not be able to find all 60, I'm sure, but I'm gonna go on the main roads here in our town. So CVS got in on the action here and it's lions. Oh my gosh, these are cute. Um, it's the baby lion. Look at the lion's tail and look at his feet. Like this is amazing. Uh, incredible. This is probably one of my favorites. That baby lion is laying on his body. So cute. I found another really fun, fun idea. Um, brewing that winning juice in Pike Road. It's like, it's like a beaker. <laughs> and a skeleton scientist. I feel kind of bad for the latte because the heart fell off. It said, we love Pike Road a latte. Um, and it's super cute and I hate that the, the heart fell off. Another little something I want to say about this is since I live here, I have already seen most of these. Um, there are some that I haven't seen because there's, there's only like two main, two main, main highways here. And I've been down both of them. So I've seen a lot of these, um, but a lot of the neighborhoods I haven't because they're kind of off in a different, not on a main highway, but off in a different place. So I have seen some and this was one of my favorites when I first started seeing them. So I'm gonna turn you around because it's adorable. And it's a neighborhood and it's a bubble gum machine. And it says, we choose Pike Road. And they stood the hay bale up, made it a bubble gum machine and added all this stuff to it. Adorable. So there's nowhere for me to park to get out of the car on this one, but I'm um, not sure why that's a cow but it's a Cal Mario and it's Pike Road is next level. With the, what is that from Mario Brothers? They did a Mario Brothers theme, the pipe. Yeah, so that's really cute. This is also a neighborhood. Okay, this is adorable, adorable. 
it spells out boo. They got third place. I actually love it. It's like a big bucket of candy and it spells out boo with your spider web and your ghost. Bow Passage is the name of the neighborhood. So it says Boo Passage thinks Pike Road is spooktacular. That's awesome. Definitely one of the favorites I've seen, a Barbie Dream Camper. Living the dream in Pike Road. Um, so cute. They even put up a life-size Barbie. How adorable is this? Like, no joke, this is incredible. Um, I don't know why they didn't place. I love this one. So this is out in front of the intermediate school, but it says that it's made by Vaughn Forest Church. So it's cute, three pumpkins made out of hay bales stacked on top of each other. Like I said earlier, there are 60 hay bales. I'm obviously not gonna be able to find all 60. So here is a sunshine. It's always sunny in Pike Road. Um, this was designed by an eight year old. Very cute, very good. This church, Gives me a small world vibe. I love it. Singing songs of praise and thanksgiving. Love it. Totally gives me a small world vibe. How about you guys? This neighborhood did a pirate tiger. Ah, he's adorable. He's got a huge earring and a pirate hat. Patch on his eye. Look at this earring in his ear. Okay, he's cute and he's painted all the way around. He's cute. This is pretty crazy, right? This is good. Somebody built this hand. I don't understand the judging. So I've already seen the first place. I'm not gonna show you till the end. I need you in the comments to tell me what's your favorite and what is the criteria for judging here? This is what I'm seeing for the first time. I haven't seen it yet. Um, I'm driving in an area I don't typically go. We <laughs> just got the little witches. Um, and the flower gardens, like, this is really good. I love it. Somebody put a roof on this, put a door, really good. Another sunshine. It says the sun shines brighter in Pike Road. How cute is that? Other than the Ninja Turtles at my neighborhood, I think this is hands down my favorite. They did a football field on... <laughs> On the ground, you got Alabama on this end with your red and your white, and you got Auburn on this end with your blue and your orange. And here's your Auburn football players and your cheerleaders. You got your referee back there. And then you come around on the other side, you have a football on here. Somebody literally painted this on, which is really cute. But then you come around over here and you got your Alabama football player and your cheerleaders. This is day two of hunting down hay bales in my town and I've come across one that I don't understand why this did not place. Like it's one of the cutest ones I've seen. Treats. That's like a candy apple. Full on candy apple, snow cone, popcorn, popcorn, pretzels, cotton candy, like funnel cake. What is the judging criteria here? This kind of looks like Taylor Swift friendship bracelets. This neighborhood did root beer. We love rooting on Pike Road, rooting on our Pike Road Patriots. That's the school. This huge cup of root beer, straw and everything. Um, wow, I love it. They created an entire truck out of hay bales. Really nice. This looks like a lake with a guy fishing. That's super cute. There's like a crane or something in the background. Really, really cute hay bale here. So I found the second place for businesses. I've not found the first place. I'm really struggling um, trying to find some of these places because I don't know this town as well as I should, I guess. But again, I am confused at the, um, the, the criteria for what wins, what gets second, you know, that sort of thing. So... Again, let me know what you think. I'm going to turn this around and show it to you. I found the second place for businesses. It's the elementary school. And they did a pumpkin patch. I guess kids did all these little pumpkins here. And then they made this big pumpkin. 
and they went the legend of Spookly the Square Pumpkin. So he's like a square, really cute. And they got second place for businesses and organizations. The post office doing a Taylor Swift theme in my small town era, cowboy boots and a cowboy hat. This is the apartments I used to live at. Um, it looks like a witch type thing. They got the three witches. They're boiling a skeleton in a pot. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Oh my gosh. We are lucky ducks. We live in Pike Road. It's a duck butt. Disney fans will really love this. It's a duck butt. Okay, this is adorable. It's a needle in a haystack. They got the Team Spirit Award, but oh my gosh. So cute. This is super cute. It's like a camper. Like you could see it painted on like a camper. Got your little scarecrows and your um what is this, like your camping chair? This is a cute one. It says, Do, don't leave camp out at Rolling Hills. I guess that's what that says. It looks like it's falling off, but super cute. Since I found that the intermediate and the elementary school did hay bales, I decided to come check the high school and guess what? They have one. It's a cow, it's a steer. <laughs> it says, steering the Patriots in the right direction. Super cute. Uh, yes, yes, our, our high school in the background does look like an apartment building. Just ignore that, it used to be. Um, but yeah, this is super cute. This is a daycare. I'm not really sure what their goal is here. Um, it's a lot of props. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be, but there it is. This is the private school, and they took their hay bale and built up over it a Wizard of Oz themed. I love the tornado in the background. This is awesome. I mean, I potentially would have chosen this to win something. Also, while I was here, I did want to say one thing. Um, I My goal was to get 30 hay bales. Um, I said at the very beginning of the video that... There were 60. My goal was to find 30. I have found 30. I've actually found more than 30 at this point. Um, there are a few more that I have seen that I'm going to go and film so you guys can see them. I didn't film every hay bale that I passed or that I came across. Um, some of them were super plain. Not that that's bad, just that I, you know, didn't really feel the need to get those. And then some, there just was no place to pull off the road to either get out like I am now and film it or to sit in my car without something coming up behind me. I found third place for business and organizations. I didn't even realize that they had gotten third place. It's Exit Realty. Um, it's literally like next to the Publix and I pass this every day. So I'm not sure why I didn't realize they were third place, but it's just a cute little barn house with scarecrows. That brick road's adorable. There you have it, third place, businesses and organizations. This is an honorable mention. Um, it looks like a Hobbit kind of situation. I believe it is. It says over here, the Shire thinks Pike Road is precious. Um, they built like a full Hobbit cave house thing and they got honorable mention for neighborhood. So uh, that's pretty cool. This church did a Campbell's tomato soup can. They literally just painted that on their hay bale. This is our tiny little airport's hay bale plane. <laughs> Isn't he so cute? I love it. As I'm sitting here editing the hay bale um, competition video, I wanted to pop in and say I ended up finding 52 hay bales um, and I filmed 40. So that's what you're seeing is 40 hay bales. And, um, while I don't think the winners are the best, they're good. And I just kind of want you to understand why I keep saying throughout the video, um, what were the criteria and what would you choose? Because in my opinion, there are some better ones than these winners you're about to see. Um, my three favorites were the Ninja Turtles, the treats with the big candy apple and the football field with the foxes. So let's take a look at the winners. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the first place for businesses and organizations. Um, holy smack, that is super creepy. That's not all though, they really went for it and they did a balloon and a sewer, holy smack. 
What is this? First place. That is creepy as all get out. All right, here's our first place neighborhood. I'm gonna be honest, this was really hard to get to um, <laughs> because this is like the busiest um, section of our town. Also, this is like the biggest neighborhood. It's a very busy intersection. So, Fallen Pike Road is a hoot and it is a big old owl. Super cute. Um, not my favorite, not what I would have chosen to win. But it is still really cute. Let me know in the comments down below of the ones you've seen, which, which one would you have chosen to be the winner? Would it have been this or something else? I believe I was able to find the majority of the winners, which I'm super excited about because I was unsure where most of them were located. Um, please let me know in the comments what were your favorites and what do you think the judging criteria was? Because um, I'm really unsure why the Ninja Turtles at my um, neighborhood did not win anything because they were really, really good. Um, so that's it. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this video. And until next time, TTFN, ta-ta for now.